There's no disagreement over the fact that the Bonneville Salt Flats are unsafe for racing. For the second year in a row, Speed Week has been canceled there. But what is up for debate tonight is what's causing the unsafe conditions. Good for you, Tess Kimberly Nelson was out at the Salt Flats yesterday, and tonight she spoke with a local race team about their thoughts. Topping out at 412 miles per hour. The Nish Motorsports team currently holds six national and world records. My father's got records out there. My two brothers have records out there, and they're all over 300 miles an hour. So we like to call ourselves the world's fastest family. Mike Nish has a dream of driving the streamliner to its full potential. And I'm pretty confident it'll go 425. But they can't get it to top speed if they don't have anywhere to race. Last year, the salt conditions were it was wet, and we got we only got one event in, and I had one really uh, kind of trying run where I got the car really sideways. At those speeds, the racers need several miles of pristinely groomed track, and as the mayor of Windover showed me yesterday, it's just not there. Mayor Crawford says it's not from salt depletion, though. He says there's plenty of salt at the Bonneville Flats. It's just currently covered in mud from mountain runoff. So there's still salt underneath. It's not gone. It's there. It's just not where you want it to be. But the Nish family has a different opinion. It's my feeling if there was more salt out there and it hadn't been all been mined and taken off, maybe the conditions wouldn't be what they are. When I asked the Bureau of Land Management about the mining at the salt flats, they said their studies don't show any salt depletion. We believe our, you know, the science shows that we're ensuring that more salt is returned to the salt flats than is taken out by the mining company. But the last study was done in 2003. The Nish family says that's not good enough. It seems criminal to me that to take a historic landmark and let it just completely disappear. Now, the BLM tells me under the condition of the permit, the mining company is required to do another study. The, Utah, the University of Utah will start the study in October. It's expected to be completed by 2018. Reporting live in the studio, Kimberly Nelson, Good for Utah.